For the want of a nail, or more specifically, an AN6 bolt, castellated nut, and cotter pin, four each, a kingdom was lost. Boeing is in deeper and hotter water than ever before as a result of this quality escapement failure on the 737 MAX-9 series of aircraft. Today, Boeing is conducting a single day safety stand down, but it's gonna take much more than a one day safety stand down to fix the quality management system that is beginning to become unveiled as investigators dive into the situation with the missing bolts on this plug door. My name's Juan Brown. You're watching the Blanco Lirio channel. I'm a Boeing 777 ATP rated pilot and an airframe and power plant mechanic as well. Things are once again getting so bad at Boeing that according to the Seattle Times, United CEO Scott Kirby is considering an alternative to Boeing for its next aircraft order. And on NBC News, while conducting an interview with Tom Costello, Ben Menacucci, the CEO of Alaska Airlines, says he's found many loose bolts on his aircraft and he's reconsidering his strategy of going to an all Boeing fleet for the future of Alaska Airlines. The 737 MAX series of aircraft is already years behind production, not uncommon in the aviation industry, but if a customer wants to cancel their order and go somewhere else to buy another airplane, they have to get in the back of the line for that other manufacturer to buy their aircraft, putting their entire acquisition process even further and further behind as all these airlines need to continually replace their older aircraft with newer more modern more efficient airplanes meanwhile the 737 max-9 series of aircraft remains grounded and may be very well grounded for a long time and information is beginning to leak out from sources from within the Boeing company as to why the bolts were missing in the door in the first place. Let's check it out. The NTSB has had the, this door in their lab for well over a week now, but they've not yet come out and announced it, but it's readily obvious to even the most casual observer that the four bolts that retain that door were not in place at the time of this door blowout. Boeing uses a quality management system called CMES, or Common Manufacturing Execution System. Spirit Aerosystems, who manufactures these fuselages and assembles these door plugs into the fuselage, uses a system called SAT, or Situation Action Tracker. Unfortunately, the folks at Spirit Aerosystems are not able to access the Boeing CMES quality management system, thus the disconnect. As has already been mentioned in the news here on airframe number 704 Alpha Lima, there are records at Boeing of the right hand plug door being worked on, but there are no records at Boeing of the left hand door being worked on. Specifically, was the where's the records for the door having been removed at some point during the quality inspection process. And here's what happened. Remember these fuselages are built at uh, Spirit Aero Systems in Wichita and the door, the plug doors are installed at Spirit and then they are shipped to Boeing up at Renton. Well, apparently there's been so many quality escapes from Spirit Aero Systems that a bunch of Spirit Aero Systems employees have to come up to Boeing Renton and work there full time fixing these mistakes that are coming through the CMES uh, quality management program at Boeing. But the spirit folks at Boeing use the SAT or situation action tracker to keep track of these quality escapements and how they're going to fix them. Apparently on the accident aircraft for Alpha Lima, when it was getting its quality inspection at Boeing, they found a problem with the door seal. That's this rubber seal that goes around the frame of the door which seals the door up for pressurization it's a rubber seal and i believe the problem was with the installation specifically the installation of the rubber seal nevertheless in order to work on the rubber seal you have to either open or remove the plug door now apparently there is a difference between opening of the plug door and removing the plug door as far as the cmes paperwork goes 
Regardless, whether you open the plug door or remove the plug door, the process is the same. The only way you're going to open the plug door, as the passengers on the ill-fated ill flight found out, you need to remove all four bolts just to open the door. The same thing to remove the door. But apparently, an opening of this door does not require a write-up in the CMES paperwork, the same as would a write-up to remove the door. So once they get the seal fixed, there is no indication in the paperwork that the door was removed, so there was no paperwork for a quality inspector to come back and check the bolt installation once the work was completed. Meanwhile, the assembly line is moving very fast, so from one day to the next, you have a completely different set of folks working these issues. This is why it's so vitally important that the paperwork trail be lined up so that folks know exactly what needs to be done next. So in the SAT paperwork, it is documented the problems with the door seal. There was even problems with rivets around the door seal before that. And there's a conversation about are we going to open the door or remove the door? After much discussion in the SAT paperwork, it's decided that they will just label the door as being opened for this uh, repair work to be done rather than removed. So in the Boeing CMES quality management system, because the door was only opened and not removed, apparently that does not trigger a requirement for a quality inspection of the bolts once the door is put back in place because in the CMES paperwork it was noted that the door was only opened and not removed so they've got a paperwork trail at Boeing now the SAT paperwork shows exactly what was going on with the door the Spirit Aero Systems Company but over at Boeing they show that work was done on a door seal but no paper trail on inspecting the bolts after the door was reinstalled. So this is the kind of information that's coming out as a result of this grounding of the aircraft. It's going to take the NTSB more than two years to get all this sorted out, but decisions need to be made right now as to what we're going to do with these aircraft and this management system at Boeing and this disconnect between Spirit and Boeing. This is going to take a lot longer to unscrew than originally thought. Thank you so much for your support of this channel, especially the folks over on Patreon that make this content possible. See you here.